Alright. Gonna need this. JRS for that'll be. I'm uh, gonna need this as well. And uh, certainly can't forget these, alright? Time to uh, take off the Raider hat. Put on my Army hat for a week. You guys know I have drill at Fort Stewart for this whole next week. Hey, it's uh, been a while since we've seen each other. A lot of things are happening uh, in the meantime. Obviously, we just had the Easter holiday uh, last Sunday. Uh, I got to go to Lee's Chapel Baptist Church, and I saw three of you um, perform in a wonderful blacklight performance. So Marley, Anna Kate, and Haven, well done there. Uh, boys, soccer, region champs, number one, JoJo and Jose. I'm proud of y'all. And baseball, George, Chance, y'all uh, swept the series uh, at home. And I'm really proud of the really proud of the work y'all are putting in in extracurricular activities. I know y'all do way more than just um, step step into the room, step into the classroom, and do scholastic work, academic work. Y'all do a whole lot of extracurricular activities as well. And that's a major part uh, of your life development. I'm very proud of what many of you are accomplishing in those extracurricular activities. You guys know I'm not going to be with you this week. Uh, not my favorite way to do school, but uh, it's, it's what we've got going on this week. And I I, I think if you hang with me. You buy into what we're what we've got going on this week. I think you're going to enjoy your week, nonetheless. I have some fantastic battle buddies who are going to set you up for a week of learning about the Enlightenment. Enlightenment is a super important period in history. Uh, every new unit, we're coming closer to America today, right? I mean, we started with ancient Mesopotamia, and you guys are like, what's that have to do with me? Now, I hope you realize it has a lot to do with you, but yeah, I get it. That's far away. It's a different time period, and it's a different geographic part of the world, but with every new unit now, I mean, the Renaissance, the Reformation, and now this Enlightenment period, we're actually coming closer to America in the year 2021. So another unit that, uh, that I hope will grab your attention and you'll see a big relevance to uh, your world today. The, the Enlightenment period, not all that different from the Renaissance and the Reformation. It's another time period where, where thinkers, uh, f philosophers, religious leaders, government leaders, it was, it was a period of re-examining government, uh, re-examining justice, religion, women's rights, minorities' rights. Uh, it, was an, it was a time period where free speech and individualism and tolerance for other ways of life became front and center. And I don't know if, if any of those things I just said maybe rings a bell as uh, topics that are relevant and still popular and still spoken about a lot uh, today. Free speech, individualism, tolerance for others' ways of life. This is what Enlightenment thinkers cared about. And uh, uh, this week you're going to learn about this uh, big idea of the Enlightenment and the specifically you're going to dive into some of these specific Enlightenment thinkers, males and females, okay? So we're going to have perspectives from, uh, from both sides uh, of thinking like that. I know we've, we've studied about a lot of old, dead guys. Well, guess what, ladies? There, there's some significant Enlightenment thinkers that we're going to study about this week as well. So today, you're watching this on Monday. One, after this intro video, um, you're going to receive some materials, okay, a little activity page for the day, and some, uh, some reading. You're going to have to do some reading this week. I don't apologize. Reading will make you better. Uh, but there's also going to be a bit of a kickoff video. So kickoff video, do some reading, follow, uh, follow through on the activity sheet. That's Monday. Tuesday, something pretty similar. Different activity, different angle, but another activity sheet. And then uh, Wednesday and Thursday. Monday and Tuesday is important to set up Wednesday and Thursday. It'll be a small group project. So they have kind of laid out your, uh, your first four days for you. Why do you want to study the Enlightenment? Because to Wednesday and Thursday, you're going to have a small group project. And then Friday, if you haven't conducted your interview, a relative interview yet, Friday, I'm going to give you time to write your rough draft in class. So if you can, between now and Friday, Get after it on that interview relative project. Uh, bring your notes to class, and you'll have time in class, the whole block, whole block, to write your rough draft in class. So don't say I'm not giving you time to work on this project in class. This Friday is going to be dedicated to working on that rough draft. Hey guys, one more ground rule for the week: there'll be absolutely no reason for you to be on your phones this week. Okay, okay, no ticky talk, no snappy chat. You just don't need to be on your phones during the class period. So please, this is your group warning. Uh, for the substitute, for my battle buddies, for your co-teachers, put them down. Um, if, if, and if one of my battle buddies, my co-teachers, or substitute sees your phone this week, it's just going to be, you can see, look to uh, your right, my left, your right, 
I have placed the uh, the cell phone pouches back up. Uh, not my favorite thing to do, but if you know if if the, your cell phone is seen this week, I'm gonna uh, say that it is put into the pouch. Uh, there's just you, you can keep it in your pocket to start the class, but there's just no reason to have those cell phones out uh, this week. Work hard, read well. You know what I always say: believe in yourself, dream, try, and do good. Swanson out. See you again tomorrow.